that's with my camera, obviously. What's up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. As you can see, I'm in a whole new location. I recently had just moved. I'm still in South Florida, but I am loving this new place. It's definitely more suitable for me. Sorry, my hair is just all over the place. Facial hair is going in. I gotta find a barber shop here. And you know, you guys might know this, you guys might not, but I used to cut my own hair before, so I'm very like specific with certain barbers. So that's gonna be a mission for me to try to figure out, figure out where to get a haircut. But I mean, it says I weigh 200 on the scale. In reality, I weigh around like 195 to 196. This camera is pretty heavy. Um, I love to start my day with a cup of coffee. That's like just one of my habits. Wake up, make a nice iced cup of coffee. And that pretty much gets my day going. Um, I do a lot of check-ins in the morning because you know, I'm coaching a fair amount of people. This is what I like to use my coffee. I use like this thing I got from TJ Maxx. It's actually pretty good. And then just like grass fed creamer. And it works out. You know, you're saving money instead of going to Starbucks and spending four or five bucks every single time. This probably costs like six bucks plus the the actual iced coffee, which is like four or five bucks. I can make probably two or three cups out of it, but I'm just going on a tangent at that point now. Coffee's coffee. I like it cold just because being in South Florida, it is kind of hot here. And sometimes I like it hot. I have the correct machine as well so I jump back and forth but you know right now I'm currently seven weeks out from the next competition and I feel pretty damn good I'm getting tighter getting a lot more sharper I would say and my training has been really good despite that little injury I've been dealing with you know if you see my other video I, I messed it up and now it's like on scale one to ten it's probably like a level five out of ten in terms of discomfort and pain it's just like on and off you know i just gotta make sure i'm doing my exercises and stretching i'm gonna go and do fasted cardio right now i'm probably gonna shoot for 30 minutes the apartment gym here is pretty nice so i'll give you guys a quick little tour and then um hit my cardio and then probably have my first meal right after i get that cardio session and uh yeah so this is the apartment gym got a heavy bag Got some cables over there. And the elliptical. It's my favorite right here. That's where I do a lot of cardio. Just wrapped up with fasted cardio. Did it about 30 minutes. But this is my physique right now, being seven weeks out. I would say I feel, you know, a little flat. It's pretty normal at this point of prep. You know, I feel great otherwise. I don't feel extremely, extremely depleted, but I feel more on the flatter end. I would say I'm like, in terms of being full at 100%, I'm probably at like 60%, which is a good spot because I can have the energy to train the way I want to, and then I can also shut down a little bit more fat. So I'm just at like that perfect range. But, you know, I'm setting check-ins with my coach probably like every three to four days right now, just cause he wants to see how I respond. He kind of made some changes to my diet. So it's working pretty well, I would say. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do some more client work. I'm gonna cook some breakfast. I'll probably show you guys what I eat. It's pretty much the same exact shit that I've been eating for the past like six, seven, eight weeks. And I, I'm not really complaining. I like, you know, keeping things within routine and doing the same thing in terms of food, cardio, whatever. Having that, ha that good habit actually kind of keeps me in the same pattern. And um, it works out well. You know, being seven weeks out, I just want to get as much content as I can going into this competition. So, you know, this is the reason why I'm making this video t today, because, you know, I got to keep these weekly uploads and hopefully I can edit it tonight and it'll be live tomorrow. But let me make some breakfast because I'm hungry as hell and um, I need to get some food in me. So breakfast time. That is breakfast. I have one English muffin, 10 ounces of egg whites, two whole eggs, and probably gonna add a little bit of salt. 
I like to salt my meals. Yeah, so the reason why, you know, I keep everything the same is just because I enjoy it. I don't have to think about making anything else and this is very simple for me to make. But this is my breakfast. I'm pretty wired right now. I took some Burn XD, which is kind of like a fat burner, thermogenic. I took only one capsule, which is 135 mg of caffeine. Plus that cup of coffee I had. So I probably had at least 200 to 230 grams of caffeine so far. And I plan on taking pre-workout before I work out. So I feel like whenever I'm going through like a cutting phase, my caffeine intake is much higher. It can be counterintuitive in a sense because you know, it can affect my sleeping schedule and when you're on prep, sleep is like one of the most important things. But I have been getting pretty good sleep. It was just this move that I had to deal with, but I got most of it squared away. Like you should have seen like, uh, maybe I could pop like a before picture of like how it looks and then how it looks now. So still got some work to do. That's like my little man cave over there. All those boxes are empty. I plan on doing like a push day today. I'm gonna do maybe a shoulder dominant. I'll probably just do shoulders, right? So when it comes to training shoulders, I think it's one of your biggest tools in terms of your physique, because if you have really big and wide shoulders, it will just overall bring in your taper more, giving you more of like a V shape to your overall physique. And that's just, you know, nailing it down to the T if you're really, really trying to build your physique up for competition or, you know, whatever it may be. Me personally, I like to train shoulders probably like two times a week just because it's fun and just to improve my overall taper. But then I also feel like since I'm doing so much shoulders, it's starting to dominate my chest in the sense like my front delt is kind of like overpowering my chest. And that's something I gotta, you know, kind of pull back on. I'll probably check in with you guys after I eat this meal because I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I might actually head to the barber shop and get a haircut because my hair is getting kind of long and facial hair is long. I'm actually probably gonna keep the facial hair and shave it right before my competition just because I haven't shaved in a while and this is like the longest it's been and I don't know, I kind of wanna just keep the look. So hopefully I can find a good barber. It's always like a hit or miss, but I always do my research and dig into Yelp. So hopefully it works out in my favor, but time to eat. All right guys, I definitely have to fill you in with what, what the fuck just happened. So I went and got a haircut. And um, it looks like I got half a fade, half a haircut. You see, this is the reason why I started cutting hair at such a young age. I used to have issues going to barbershops and it always getting messed up. And look at this. I got like half a haircut and uh, I don't know. So I'm definitely gonna have to find, <laughs> I'm gonna have to find the right barber out here. This is definitely not it. I'm gonna have to fix this up myself right now just because you know, I can't be walking around public like this with like half a fade, half a uh, unfinished fade. And it is what it is. I'm gonna do my best to fix it and I'll show you guys the process. So it looks like the fade is already kind of high. So I just have to blend it a little bit. I mean, I have all my hair cutting tools right here. I use the Oyster Masters. This is like the, the clippers I've always used. But fucking A. What the hell happened to my hair? <laughs> uh, well, hopefully I can fix it. It's been a while since I cut my own hair, so this is already gonna be risky as it is, but I mean, it looks kind of like butchered, so I'm gonna do my best. So let's see how this shit goes. That's a little bit better. All right, I fixed it up, hopefully. Definitely trying my best to blend it as good as I could. The back part was kind of hard because like, it's just hard to really see in the middle. Like I can only see so much of it. I think I definitely blended it a little bit more. Um, hopefully it's better than <laughs> how it was, but I'm definitely gonna have to find a barber out here. It's not bad just, you know, it's kind of inconvenient for me to cut my own hair after going to the barbershop to get a haircut, but it's not a big deal. But I head to the gym in probably like 20, 30 minutes, gonna relax for a little bit, gonna train some shoulders today. I'm really excited to show you guys how I'm looking right now, being seven weeks out from the next competition. Super stoked to compete again. It's, I feel like it's been a while, you know, it's been 
since July of last year since I competed. So this is gonna be my first show of the 2022 season and it'll be in June. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna train really intense today. I'm gonna really try to do really heavy sets in the beginning and then aim for a lot of like supersets, drop sets, just to really build up the volume in the workout. And then probably finish up with cardio of some sort because that's what I typically do. But yeah, um, I'll catch you guys in the gym. Hopefully my haircut doesn't look too bad. So that pretty much was my shoulder workout. I went pretty heavy on the presses. 
a lot of volume on the you know shoulder raises and did a bit of rear delts. Overall, it was a great workout. Um, I typically don't train this later in the day, so I feel like my workouts kind of suffer a little bit when I do too much thinking during the day. So that's the reason why I love training first thing in the morning. So I'll just get into the gym, get my workout in first thing upon waking up, and then usually I'll thrive off that energy and get a lot of stuff done for the day. So today was a later workout. I trained around six o'clock, finished around seven. Overall, it was a great workout though. I, I really enjoyed it. All right guys, as you can see the title of the video, you know, I am going to be going to Texas. I'll be flying in on the 27th to the 30th, and I'm planning on checking out you know, Alpha Land and checking out some of the other gyms out there, but Alpha Land is definitely one of the bigger ones that I definitely want to check out. I've been hearing a lot of great things about it. You know, I'm looking forward to making that trip. I'm going to be with my younger cousin, Jason, who's going to be competing at Nationals in, I believe, like 11 weeks. The first week of July, he'll be competing, and then I'm obviously seven weeks out, so. It would be really cool to get some solid training in with him just because, you know, I love training with him. I haven't been able to train with him in a while. And um, it's going to be exciting to see how he dials in for this next competition. Right now, I'll be seven weeks out, I feel great. You know, my weight's coming down slowly and I'm you know, looking better than ever. And can't complain, my food's not really that bad. Cardio is starting to go up a little bit, but, you know, that's just how prep is. You know, you're going to have to go through that suffering phase. And, there's no way around it. I've been doing this for a few years now, and it's something I'm always prepared for, just because I know what it takes to get into that kind of level of conditioning and that shape. So, you know, I'm pretty excited about it too, because it's, once you really push yourself to that limit, you actually see some changes that, you know, you can't really see on a daily basis, as if you were in competition prep. So, like, Getting closer to your competition, you'll see your body change from day to day. Whereas if you're, you know, at a much higher body fat, it's so hard to really see that difference. But show that I will be competing in too, that I want to also announce, it's called the Mile High Pro. It's going to be in Colorado, in Denver. Now, I really hope to qualify for Olympia with the show in seven weeks, but I also want to be more active with competing. So, you know, I, I kind of want to hit the Chicago Pro again, just because I wasn't able to compete there last year. Maybe hit the Tampa Pro. It just depends on how I feel and where my body's at with, you know, the injuries, mentally and everything. But the ultimate goal is to qualify for the Mr. Olympia. But that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in Texas.